Indeed. Third and final preliminary match tonight here out of all 97. It's going to be a doozy. Did you just say doozy? I sure did. There she is. surprise for me and it's got to be a surprise and a bit of a disappointment for Jason Kincaid to find himself here on the preliminary matchups. That's it. Now lost last night in the ball 96. This is going to show anybody, even if you've regularly been on the featured card in a ball, you may find yourself in a preliminary situation. Jared 120 on the other hand, victorious last night and you got to think he's looking at Kincaid and saying, if I defeat this man, if I defeat this man, can I take this fight? Can I end up on Card. I'm sure that Jared 120 can safely assume that when you beat a mainstay here in WWN, somebody of the likes of Jason Kincaid, you are absolutely making a statement to the officials here involved. Indeed, and now watch closely with Jared 120 here. You already kind of escaping. Indeed, the escape artist escaping from his jacket. We talked about it last night. Disturb reality. Check that out on YouTube. Really, a million subscribers for the magic that this man does. Kincaid, on the other hand, 14 years in the sport, trained out of, the, out of West Virginia by the Madden Trans. This is a guy who's won an ECW Super 8 before. This is a guy who's been really a breakout star here in Evolve over the last year in 2017. But now, things aren't going his way, and what you're seeing instead, the guy's fighting for his, guy's fighting for his spot. He's fighting for something, and he seems to be fighting with everybody. Last night, he interrupted the, the intermission. We were trying to show some videos during Evolve 96, and when we came back, Trevor, I don't even know what, what the heck he was trying to say. We had basically what was happening, ladies and gentlemen, NXT General Manager William Regal making an appearance in front of a live audience only. He was talking to Austin Theory. He was talking to Darby Allen. We'll, we'll come back to that issue a little bit later tonight when Lenny Leonard and Ron Meadie are back here. But indeed, it was King King coming out the microphone we broke back from intermission and the issue between him and Austin Theory continuing and you gotta think we have two video submissions one of which I don't think Kincaid really would have liked us to have seen it was, it was almost like a shoot interview gone bad he's been obsessed with Austin Theory this weekend is not about Austin Theory and right now again a loss to Jared 120 here you lose your spot on the main roster however right now he is looking like skate parties himself for that yeah, we all just better hope that Austin Theory is not in the back of Jason Kincaid's mind right now because he needs to have 100% focus on Jared 120. And you got to think, too, when it comes to Kincaid's loss, losing, losing to a guy like A.R. Fox. I mean, what a unique matchup it was. One of the most elite athletes as well here in the world, not just in a ball. But guess what? What you're seeing right now from Jared 120, which is that boot to the gut, it's effective. It doesn't happen. And it seems like Jared 120 is getting even more confidence coming off of that victory last night in the preliminary matchups. But he doesn't want to get overconfident going up against Jason Kincaid. No, that'll definitely be a mistake. We'll see if it happens. Kincaid showed his unique offense there in defensive style, rolling back. And it'll land right there in that meditative stance. And I'll tell you, I have tried to talk to Kincaid. I've tried to understand this whole, I don't know if you want to call it zen. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't get it. I guess I'm not as spiritual as this man is, but you gotta think he's gotta be really fighting with some demons, especially what we saw last night in the middle of the intermission. And in fact, there's that, you can see right now the frustration, the anger starting to come forward. He's losing his composure a little bit, but wait, I take it back. 
able to get out of the way of both fists. Forces the man into that handshake there. It's got to be frustrating. Jericho 120 sweeping the leg as Kincaid. Kate Fenton absolutely playing some mind games with Jericho 120. It's almost like Kincaid has become the illusionist. Yeah, no kidding, right? And now Kincaid on the offensive here. Zarbiana kind of Ball Faithful getting behind him. Big night, big match feelings here tonight in Elrose, Massachusetts. I'm excited. As the elbow there catching the running Jason Kincaid. Heel kick, though, able to slow down Jarek. And running, sunset, like turning into a bomb into the turnbuckle. And it looked like the back of his head snapped right off of that bottom turnbuckle. Coast to coast, two boots to the face. And if it didn't snap off that bottom turnbuckle the first time, it definitely did after that. Being flying 18 feet across the ring. Jason Kincaid, so impressive. Is this young man? And you know what? Both of these guys had opportunities in WWN seminars to stand out. Kincaid obviously really seizing the opportunity. Wait a minute, now that is gradually assisted. Scratching up the lovely assistant, taking the hat. I don't, I don't think uh, the lovely assistant, Katie Cartwright, knows what to do. Oh, now Kincaid seemed unfazed, but the double eight, there was a distraction there, and Jared 120 able to capitalize. Taking him right into the post. Most of the hardest, most dangerous parts. Watch of this. Hey, favorite. Favorite. Uh, Unbelievable. He's got to be a good 230, 240, just holding himself up there. Incredible. You almost wonder, honestly, like you said, is he truly defying gravity? Otherwise, this is one strong dude. Regardless, though, both men looking to answer the count in the ring. Pitbull able to get up after a one count. This goes back to the urgency. Ten-minute time limit here. Can keep wasting no time. Now you got to get in. You've got to get out. You're in the proverbial shark tank of these preliminary contests. You're in there, you got to prove yourself, and you only have a limited amount of time to do so. Up to European uppercuts now, slowing down Jarek momentarily, but that kick now, catching him Kamigiri style. I think we all heard that one connect. Well, and, and, and come back a little bit to Jarek 120. We talked about this last night, especially since first seeing him here evolve in Ball 92, Ball 93, the interruptions of Freddie Highgard, Harvey Allen. But you know, it's put 120 this way. It's like, Trying to better understand it, the research I've done says it's kind of like a magic trick. It's designed to be a secret. If you knew what it meant, it wouldn't be special. So now you got to ask yourself, is it a date? Is that what it means? As it gets out of the way, Jason McKean goes up and over. Back first into the guardrail. Wow, unbelievable. He flicked over there, and I, I, I'm concerned that his chin may have come across the top of that metal post. Okay, now in trouble, showing the effects. It looks like Jared 120 happy to win this matchup by count out. Let's talk a little bit again about Jared 120. I mentioned Brian Kendrick earlier. That is also who trained Jared 120. Now look at Jared 120. You should be heading out to the outside. Maybe staying on top of him, capitalizing on the tip belt, though. Not a bad option. Hey, confidence, cockiness. It is a 20 count though here tomorrow. But regardless, break it in. Catch him with that stop though is Jared 120. Pitball. Kicking. Correction, you're right on the 20 count, and that's what I meant to say. And that's what I was telling Jared 120, you've got to stay on top of him. I didn't see Kincaid staying out there for the entire 20. you got to head out there. You've got to stay on top of somebody like Jason Kincaid. Jared 120 starting to head to the top here. What are we going to see from Jared? He's talking about the showboat and shit. He's probably learned from Kendrick, but Paul, wow, thrown off the top. Kincaid still feeling the effects of coming off that post just moments ago, not able to capitalize, trying to get on top of Jerk 120 with that three count. And, and I hate to see it, this thing end in a double down shot. They, they've got 10 seconds. Both men could be counted out. One gets full speed. He'll break that count. But it was almost like a Michi Noku there. I'm sure some of us, the proper Japanese name, you can tweet me later. Heel back, heel kick there from Kincaid. Head first down, KK coming to life. This is that unique offense we've seen. The speed is driven the man here. The complexion of this matchup is quickly changing. Jared 120. KK absolutely taking advantage of this burst of adrenaline. And then jumping forearm from KK so quickly to his feet. Listen to the evolved people getting behind KK. Watch his face though. What are we going to see here, Trevin? Let's see, I couldn't tell if he was going from Zen or if there's you know, almost a, a viciousness coming through. Trying to roll 
Try to roll up and over, but instead, you know what? She runs a backslide right there. Just lift the boots across the kisser. Jared Brooks won. Yeah, that's just effective enough. And that's the thing, again, we talk about the offense. High-risk style. Pitbull doesn't always play out the way you think. Every wrestling ring differently, and you're seeing it here tonight. Hopefully all of the talent watching closely to see what kind of shape this ring's in. Is it going to change some of the offense? The running, two boots to the head there. But that's when the 14 years, the veteranship plays its role. When you can adapt to any scenario. And the cutter right there to the pitfall. Able to just get a foot on the rope among the assistant Kenny Cartwright. A huge smile. A huge smile on him. Yeah, that wasn't magic right there. That was Kenny Cartwright getting involved. Now, whether she will in the life or whatever, KK doesn't doesn't know where he went. Look at this. Where is he going? And you hear it right here. Coming to be a faithful cheer. He escaped. Back into the ring. Caught. I think we're caught in that ace crusher here. But KK quickly back to his feet. Uh, we saw that last night. Oh, wow. This is right back to him. Not enough to get I just don't think it's magic. It really is. And you float down. It's incredible. Well, that's alarming, Trevor. These guys better pick up the pace. We got less than 60 seconds left to go. And these gentlemen want to make a statement. Yeah, did you see the urgency get into Jared Bush when he goes for the conference? Able to count him enough to fall. Did he team a back to the game? The adrenaline taking over KT once again. Yeah, blocking the knee here. Are we going for Rolling through, going for a pinball. No, who's the best? One, two. Oh my god, boom. Rodney, 